What's up, Virgo? What's going on, Virgo? Shout outs to all the Virgos out there. Happy birthday, Virgo. I love you. As promised, I told y'all I'm going to be doing y'all some readings. I'm doing some readings for Virgo because I love Virgos. Period. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I love y'all, and that's why y'all getting readings right now. Um, and because it's just season, okay? So in honor and in celebration of you, um, I'm doing readings for y'all, period. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node placements. If you have Virgo in any of those placements, then you may find that something I say resonate with you. Please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Everything you hear is not going to be for you, okay, Virgo? So please, please, please use your discernment. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Virgi, Virg. What's up, Virgo? Virgo gang, Virgo tribe, Virgo family. Okay, y'all know I'm part of the crew too. <laughs> y'all know I'm part of Virgo gang too. I am a Libra sun, but I have a lot of Virgo in my chart. So Virgo, you hold a special place in my heart. Um, I am part of the Virgo community as well. <laughs> What's up, Virgi, Virg? All right, Virgo, let's see what's in your energy for today. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys. I hope y'all all are doing well. Virgo, I'm sending you lots of love. Okay, baby. Um, I'm going to start off with the tarot, and then we'll pull some oracle towards the end of the messages for you. If you ever checked out any of the Libra readings that I post here, then you'll know exactly how this is about to go. Um, but whatever comes out, that's what I'm going to tell y'all. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to make anything sound nicer than what it is. Whatever come out, that's what it is. Um, but please use your discernment, okay? Because everything may not necessarily be for you, all right, Virg? All right, baby. I hope you guys are enjoying your season, enjoying your birthdays. Happy solar return, Virgo. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node. Holy Spirit and angels of the highest white light. What messages do you have for Virgo at this time? What is it that they need to know? Sun, moon, Venus, rising of no Virgo. Please understand that we all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, guys? So apply the rules, apply the genders, apply the pronouns as you see fit to your personal situations. Feel free to flip and bounce the roles as you see fit to your personal situations as well. Let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Holy Spirit, what is that that Virgo needs to know at this time? This is for the zodiac sign of Virgo. What messages do you have for them at this time? What is it that they need to know? Messages for Virgo, please and thank you. Let's get three more shuffles for you, Virg. Somebody could be eating pasta. And somebody's eating something Italian. Somebody's eating some Italian food, some pasta. Oh, Virgo, that sounds good. Can I have some? Can I have some? We got the three of swords in the reverse. Page of wands in the reverse. Two of wands. All right, three of pentacles. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. I feel like you're not waiting for something anymore. You decide to take action. You're taking matters into your own hands. You're doing things with love, though. You're doing everything out of a place of love. You could have uh, water in your chart. Some of you could have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart. But I just feel like you're in this very loving energy. Yeah, Virgo, there you go. Showing up as a magician. You know you the great. You know the, you know Come on, Virgo. You know you're one of the greatest of all time, man. All right, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a big you up. Y'all know what it is. You showing up as the magician. That's your energy all day, every day. You manifesting something at this time, Virg. And you doing it with love. So that's why it's actually working. That's why it's coming in. This is why your manifestations is coming in. Because you're doing something out of a place of love. Um, I feel like you making something happen. I feel like that's what your spirit team wants to communicate to you. You could be receiving messages, downloads, okay? At this time, you need to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, the messages, the downloads that you're receiving. Some of you have, like, these premonitions. Some of you guys know what's about to happen before it happened. You could be dreaming about shit before it happens. I feel like you taking, you could have received a message, a download, a dream of some sort, and it's requiring you to take some sort of action. And I feel like you're doing just that. This is your confirmation to do that. Like, if you've been... 
needing confirmation, if you've been needing a push, if you've been needing a second opinion, Virgo, let me tell you, go ahead and do it, whatever this is. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to do something. Like, y'all could have been waiting for something to happen and Spirit is saying, no, you the one that makes shit happen. You're the go-getter. You the one that initiates shit. You the one that makes shit happen. You get the job done, Virg. It's time for you to take some sort of action and do something here. Um, somebody here could be apologizing for starting conflict with, with you because judgment got called in your favor. Judgment got called in a situation. If somebody was being unfair to you and somebody was trying to cause conflict for you, this person is being sat down, okay? They need to have several fucking seats. This person is showing up as the King of Cups reverse. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, Pisces. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they're very immature. Very fucking immature. Very immature. Emotionally manipulative. Emotionally immature. This is somebody that was trying to cause issues for you. You showing up as the Queen of Cups in the upright and the magician. And this person showing up as the King of Cups in the reverse. Everything is backfiring on this person. If this person was sending you evil eye, that shit has went blind. All the negative projection, uh, all the negative projections, okay, is being returned to sender. This person is being blocked. This person can't cause any conflict for you. Yeah, and they mad too. Somebody here got the nerve to be mad. Somebody here could be a water sign or a Sagittarius or Aries or an Aquarius. I'm getting Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this person is, they're emotionally unstable. They're emotionally imbalanced. This is somebody that could also be mad because you're turning them down. This is somebody that could be wanting to be with you, like intimate. I don't really feel like wanting to be with you as far as a commitment. This person can't commit to shit. That's exactly why their life is falling apart now. This is somebody that is unstable. They don't, they don't have, they're not dedicated. They're not committed. They're not disciplined in any way. Their life is falling apart. This person can't complete shit that they start. This is somebody that may start shit. They start a lot of projects, but they never see through to it. They never finish anything. This person is, listen, I, let me just, let me go ahead. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm trying to be nice, y'all. I got to be mindful of the way I deliver my messages, I know. Um, but with the Ace of Wands in a reverse here, I just feel like this person thought that they was going to have some sort of new beginning with you this person could have also thought that they was going to have some sort of intimate moments with you this is somebody that you could have been intimate with at some point in the past and they wanted to do it again okay but this is somebody that has a third party and so i feel like you shutting that shit down this person could actually be in a relationship or they just a waste of time they still dealing with multiple people here i just heard a womanizer so whoever this king of cups in the reverse is this person could be a womanizer this is somebody that could have also wanted you to chase them. They were trying to play some cat and mouse game. This person was trying to, you know what it is? They was giving you enough. They, they felt like they was giving you just enough to get you hooked or to get you invested or interested in them. And then they would purposely like shy away. This person not shy, but y'all know what I'm saying. Like they would purposely pull back. They would give you just enough to get your attention and, and then they'll pull away. This person was very inconsistent, very wishy-washy. This is somebody, this is what they do to people though. Whoever this King of Cups in the verse is, this person does, th this is the type of shit they do. Like they do this to everybody that they talk to, everybody that they involve themselves with, you know, on a romantic or intimate level. This is the type of shit they do. And I feel like it's been working for them until they came across somebody like you. You're not sweating nobody. You're not chasing nobody. None of that. It's clipped for that. Like... <laughs> This person got the game fucked up if they thought you was about to chase them. Virgo, you are the gift. You are the magician. You are alchemist. You are master manifester. You powerful as fuck. You could be very like witchy, okay? <laughs> I'm picking that up. But whoever you are, I mean, this person got the game fucked up. I don't know what they thought, but they thought wrong. Because this ain't that. And that damn sure ain't this. Okay? It must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. Some of y'all are very shapely. You got a nice ass. <laughs> yeah, this person is getting rejected, bro. They getting rejected. Virgo, here you go. Big Virgo energy, nine of pentacles all day. You know what it is, Virg. You very independent. I'd rather be by myself. I could do battle by myself. Actually, I'm doing great. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm doing great. I'm doing lovely. I'm just fine. You super independent, Virg. You and your power, man. You and your energy. Nine of Pentacles, ten toes. This person is getting rejected. This person, pfft, they getting rejected. I feel like you rejecting a lot of people. A lot of people feel dismissed and rejected and ignored by you. It's not just this person. 
I'm picking this shit up on like a mass level. You could really be ignoring motherfuckers. And that's something that you're really good at. <laughs> Virgo, let's be real. You will make somebody question their own existence. <laughs> make no mistake about it. Like, I, And I feel like this is happening for a lot of people. This could just be people in your past that didn't step up to the plate. They didn't do what they needed to do when it came to, you know, keeping you in their life. Motherfuckers fumbled you. God snatched you out of people's hands that didn't deserve you. Friends, family, romantic, business partners, you name it. I feel like y'all have cut a lot of motherfuckers off in the recent months or years. <laughs> like you've cut a lot of people off. People feel ignored by you. They feel like you don't check on them. They feel like you don't care if they breathing. <laughs> like people just feel like you just don't give a fuck about them. Like it's, it's something going on here in your energy where people feel like you just, you concerned with self. It's all about me. Virgo, that's the energy you in. I mean, it is your season, baby. It is all about you. The fuck? Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about putting your needs first, Virg. But I feel like there's a lot of people that feel like you selfish or you just, you don't care about them. Yeah, you and your queen of pentacles energy. Yo, you and your prime, baby. I'm telling you, you ten toes. Virgo, I cannot make this shit up. You standing on your own too. You holding your own. God bless the child that can hold his own. God bless the women that can hold Patron. Some of y'all getting y'all drinky drink on. Virgo, please drink responsibly, okay? You know damn well we got weak uh, guts. Y'all know we got weak um, digestive. You know we be having digestive problems, Virg. Like y'all better ease up on the Patron. <laughs> Some of y'all drinking and you're going to be throwing up, child. All right? But yes, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Yo, you in your power. I knew it. You vibrating so high, baby. You vibrating high, baby. Some of y'all could be seeing uh, rainbows. You could have like witnessed a beautiful rainbow as of recent, or this is something that is about to happen. You're going to see a beautiful rainbow. This is confirmation that this is your energy. This is your message. But you know what it is. You know what the fuck it is. Some of y'all could be seeing large birds as well. Something significant about a rainbow sighting or a large bird or birds that you wouldn't normally see. Like y'all seeing birds that you wouldn't normally see. You like, what the fuck? What kind of, what this kind of bird doing in the hood? <laughs> you know, like it's something here going on where you seeing a bird that you never seen before or a bird that don't normally be in that area that you in or something like that. <clears throat> You witnessing God's magic, God's creation in a beautiful way. You have fairy energy, all right? Whoever I'm speaking to, whatever set of Virgos I'm connecting with, you guys have like this fairy energy. You're a fairy. I'm hearing you're a fairy. Oh, Virgo, you a fairy, okay? Yes. Somebody here don't want to cycle the clothes out between you two because you a whole empress. Told you. You the shit. Yo, you the shit. Yo, Virgo. <laughs> yo, Virgo. Hey, yo, Virgo. Let me holler at you real quick, Darlene. <laughs> Let me tell you something, sweetheart. You the truth, baby girl. Ain't, not, ain't nobody out here moving like you, baby. Ain't nobody out here shining like you. Real talk. Real shit. Real spill. For real. For real, for real. Oh, yo. Yo, Virgo. You the best thing smoking. You the best thing since sliced bread, Virgo. You top tier, Virgo. Creme de la creme, Virg. You on your A-game, Virg. You top fucking shelf, Virg. You exclusive. You understand what I'm saying? You limited edition. <laughs> no funny shit. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the fucking Empress, man. And whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, this person like, please, please don't close out the cycle. I know I tried to cause issues for you. You know? I know I'm mad. I know I'm mad. I know I'm childish. I know I'm selfish. I know I'm a womanizer. I know I want to keep my options open and waste your time, but please don't say goodbye to me. Get the fuck out of here. This begging-ass motherfucker. This is somebody that's begging. <laughs> it's not becoming. You know what I'm saying? It's it's very, um, mm, what is it? It's giving peasant. It's giving peasant energy. <laughs> like, it's giving. <laughs> it's, yo, I'm speaking like a true verb right now. Y'all know. Y'all know we good for shitting on motherfuckers. Yo, Virgo, this person feel like you shitting on them right now. And this, this could be something that you're not even doing intentionally. There's a lot of people that feel like you shitting on them. But it's like, <laughs> yo, Virg, your energy is very intimidating. Motherfuckers be intimidated by you. You know, some people are accusing you of being like high and mighty. Like you need to humble yourself. Virg, I don't really think you need to humble yourself. I think people need to just start healing. Okay. It's like your confidence comes across as arrogance to motherfuckers that don't love themselves. You feel me? That's, that's a personal problem for them. <laughs> okay period 
but whoever this king of cups in the reverse is this person feels like you shitting on them like you think you're too good for them and to be honest Ferg, you are you are too good for this bullshit you know i don't like to say that anybody is better than anybody you know what i'm saying we all just on different timelines we all on our own journeys and shit like that you know and a spiritual journey is not for everybody so i'm not i'm not gonna get on here and say that anybody's better than anybody but that's just the energy that this person feels like you carry it's like they're intimidated by your growth your success it's like you have standards and your confidence your standards your values your integrity your morals the way you show up in the world the way you carry yourself is intimidating to this person so instead of them just saying you know virgo virgo ain't fucking with my bullshit i need to get my shit together it's like this person is like nah virgo think they better than me virgo think they too good you know, Virgo think they better than everybody. Virgo got a big head or they very arrogant or Virgo just very cocky. Virgo's very judgmental. You know, it's like that's how somebody talking about y'all right now. But truth be told, this is somebody that just can't live up to your standards because they not healing. They not doing the work. This person want to play games all day. I'm, I'm hearing they want to play literally games all day, video games. Somebody here could be a gamer. This could be a grown ass man that's obsessed with video games and shit. <laughs> damn i do sound judgmental right well fuck it Virg. i'm in your energy this is how it is this is how you come in it is what it is don't nobody want somebody sitting on a fucking game system all day fuck it if somebody here could save you don't nobody want a bitch that read cards all day it is what it is who cares but this is somebody that could play video games all day for some of y'all this is double confirmation if you know that this person play <laughs> video games all day for some of y'all somebody here play video games all day or they just, they're a gamer. That's what they love. They obsessed with video games. You like, yo, I want a business, man. I want somebody that's about their business. I don't want a motherfucker that's sitting up on video games all day. Especially if you ain't making no money off that shit. Like, it's, it, like if, that's your, if that's your thing, if you're into video games and shit like that, at least make that shit work for you. You got fucking minors out here. You have kids out here that are touching bands, M's, getting paid for people to just watch them play video games like motherfucker if you gonna be on video if you gonna be playing video games all day at least boss the fuck up and make some money off that shit some of y'all whoever this person is they invest a lot of their energy into something that's not helping them in any way it's not helping them financially spiritually mentally emotionally nothing this person is just like wasting time like this person is very lazy whoever this king of cups in reverse is they're very lazy this person may stay in bed all day sleep a lot do this motherfucker have a job? Yo, who is this? This person can't have no job, child. And if this person work from home, they do the bare minimum. This person is very lazy. Could be a cancer. This person is a water sign. A cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person is very lazy. Somebody that's in y'all energy don't have no job. This person stay home all day. They sleep throughout the day. Somebody here may be up all night, but sleep all fucking day. Yeah, and play video games all night or some shit like that. This person is weird. Yeah, we got the emperor in the reverse here. This person's a fucking clown. They're distorted masculine. This is somebody that don't have no job. This person could have lost their job for some of y'all. This person spends a lot of time at home scratching their ass. May not even be washing that shit either. Like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> Virgo, don't get me started. <laughs> Give me something on this emperor in the reverse, child. Mm -mm. hell no i ain't fucking with it yeah that's the truth yo that's the truth this person is a they allows this person is a fucking derelict this person is a fucking buzzard <laughs> yo we got the ace of swords yeah that's the truth i ain't gonna get on here a lot of y'all that's the fucking truth ace of swords confirmation this person is lazy and this is somebody that betrayed y'all. They sending you the evil eye. This person is mad because you's a go-getter. You's a fucking boss. You make shit pop. You a hard worker. You a leader. You get the job done. You an empress. This is like a man hating on a divine feminine. This is a karmic masculine hating on a divine feminine. A lazy motherfucker that want to be spoon-fed. That want to be fucking coddled and babied and chased after. This is like, motherfucker, if you want to take dick up your ass, then just say that excuse my language but this is like somebody that's bitch made and it's no offense to anybody that like the same sex no offense to my masculines because there's nothing offensive about being gay okay i love everybody so let's just get let's just get that out the way right now
but this is somebody here that's just real like bitch made like this is this is somebody that could even be homophobic like this could be a masculine that make a lot of homophobic comments right they try to insult people that's gay like that's an insult there's nothing wrong with that but this is this is the energy like this is somebody that may they're not comfortable with themselves this person could be going through some sort of identity crisis this person could be in the closet no funny shit whoever this infinite reverse is is something going on where this person is not comfortable with themselves they like to pretend this is somebody that likes to pretend like they got it when they don't this is somebody that likes to dress nice as well like they like to get fly but they really ain't got no money in their bank account. This is a motherfucker that walk outside, you think they got it, they really don't. This is somebody that may even drive a nice car, but they sleeping on their mama couch. You understand what I'm saying? This is somebody that make homophobic comments, but they really unsure of their sexuality. They they really like men on the low. Like this is somebody that's a woman hater and they hate they hate on women that are bosses. Like, whoever you are, Virgo, you make way more money than this motherfucker, clearly. Because for some of y'all, they don't even have a job at this time. But this is somebody that you make more money than you You shitting on this person. You a fucking divine feminine. You a goddess. You a warrior. You a go-getter. You initiate shit. You get the job done. You do it correctly on the first try. Like, you the shit. And this person is a fucking loser, and they're jealous of you. This is somebody that y'all could have actually been connected to at one point. Some of y'all was even in a relationship with this person. And don't and don't even get me started. Some of y'all could even have a baby by this person. Don't tell me that this is your whack-ass baby daddy for some of y'all. Listen, whoever this person is, they mad because you are, like, looking at them like, ill. Like, no funny shit. It's something here that, about them that's just, it's, it's giving ill. It's giving peasant. It's giving bum nigga. It's giving bum. Excuse my language, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on my I'm working on my cousin. I am. But I just be reading the energy. I be real into it, okay? I don't even curse like that in my everyday life. But it's something about these messages that be having me cussing. I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on it. Sorry, Virg. If my cursing offends you, I'm sorry. But yeah, four of wands in reverse. Like, this person is a loser. This is not somebody that you're interested in. And this person feel like you look down on them. But it's just because they know that they should be doing better. This is somebody that know better but won't do better. This is somebody that's too lazy to do better. This person may actually be depressed. Yeah, this person may actually be depressed. Like, they don't even have the energy to do better. Like, they may want more for themselves, but they don't even have the energy to fucking do better. This is somebody that is very pessimistic, too. They have a very pessimistic outlook on life. For some of y'all, this person could be a Virgo just like you, but clearly they vibrate in low. This is a low vibrational Virgo man. This person could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, an Aries. Whoever this person is, they're lazy. This is, this is somebody that's lazy, but I'm telling you, it's like they may want more for themselves, but they just don't have the drive. They're not very ambitious. They're, they're not ambitious. They don't have the drive. They don't have the energy. They don't have the stamina. They, they don't have the stamina. This person is just, yo, they, they just, they not ambitious. They not, they not, they not, they not motivated. This person is not motivated, bro. It's very draining to even read their energy. This person is very draining. Like, this is somebody that, it's like they want so much more for themselves, but they don't even know where to start. They don't, it's, it's sad. I feel it. Whoever this person is, they miss you though. Six of Cups, they miss you. I'm hearing that they also miss having sex with you, <laughs> okay? Like I said earlier, this is somebody that y'all could be turning down, like, especially if this person's trying to sleep with you. It's like, nah, I'm good. This person, like, wow. Like, you don't even want to sleep with me? It's like, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Some of that brokenness might rub off on me. <laughs> like, nah, let me stop. Yo, Virgo, you are being judgy, bro. <laughs> nah, yo, Virgo, I love you, though. But nah, yeah, this person miss you. But you're not paying them no mind. I told you, somebody here feel like you're not paying them no mind. This person could even be telling people like, oh, Virgo don't want to talk to me because I ain't got enough money. Like this, that type of person. They like to, they like to like uh, project. You know what I'm saying? This person, oh no. This is somebody that's like, yeah, I don't got enough money for Virgo. So Virgo not talking to me. Virgo only talk to men that make six figures or more. Virgo don't want to deal with me because I'm not making enough money or I'm struggling at this time. Virgo don't want to deal with me because I still live with my mom. Or Virgo don't want to deal with me because I'm struggling right now. I'm going through a hard time. Virgo is an opportunist or Virgo is a gold digger. Virgo only want to be with a man that's rich, that's going to take care of them. And it's like, motherfucker, maybe, shit, maybe. 
<laughs> but we got a six wants in a reverse. This person miss you, but they saying that you ain't checking for them. Somebody hit in their feelings. This person definitely a water sign or they got strong water in their chart. Yeah, it's a fucking cancer for some of y'all. Their energy is cancerous. This person's so toxic. They so annoying. Oh, this person is annoying, bro. Confirmation. <laughs> y'all heard that, huh? This person mad annoying. They so draining. Like, ew. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? It's a water sign or an Aquarius or somebody with strong water or Aquarius in a chart. I'm getting big cancer Aquarius energy. But this person could be a, a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, Pisces, an Aries as well. Whoever this is, they talk hella shit. I told you, they don't have no energy. They don't have energy to do nothing but talk shit about people. That's the only thing they find energy. <laughs> That's the only thing they have energy for. Is to project and talk shit about people that's doing better than them, which is the majority. <laughs> Damn, yo. Yo, Virgo, maybe you do be clowning this person too. I don't know, man. Because for some reason, this message is coming out very like, like I'm clowning them and I'm not trying to. You feel me? This person want to come back towards you. I told you they struggling financially. They may not have a job. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, and everybody falls on hard times. Most of us, if not all of us, fall on hard times at some point in our life. But I just feel like this person don't even have the motivation to try to, like, do better. They, they, you know, they motivated to talk shit. They motivated to project. They're motivated to try to finesse motherfuckers into taking care of them. But they're not motivated to go out and get it on their own. This person is a fucking bum. <laughs> like, no funny shit. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Virgo, I'm glad you're not with this person. Yeah, you could be an entrepreneur. You could work for yourself. You could have your own business. Or some of y'all, you a jack of all trades. You do a lot. You may even work for somebody, but you got your own business on the side. Like, you just got it going on. You got a lot of shit going on for you. You got, like, multiple streams of income. <laughs> like, you really out here getting it. This is why they hating on you. This person want to talk to you. They going to come around and try to talk to you. And I'm telling you, if you, like, um, if you real short with this person, if you keeping a conversation short... Or you responding, like one word responses. Or some of y'all, you're not even responding at all. This is going to put the battery in this person back to talk even more shit. Like, see, Virgo don't even want to talk to me. Because cause Virgo, they only talk to motherfuckers that got money. They only talk to people that got that could do something for them. You know, Virgo don't even want to talk to me. Virgo don't even care about me. You know, Virgo is, is a gold digger. I'm telling you, this person calling you a gold digger. But really, you the one with the bag. You are the man with the money. <laughs> like that ass they a gold digger they a bitch looking to be saved like let's really talk about it the roles are reversed here you can have libra in your chart <laughs> some of y'all gonna have libra in your chart but you see you receiving justice in the situation big libra energy with the justice so your justice is for you to be in your in your power your justice is for you to be happy for you to be independent yeah we have the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, very independent, Virg. Some of y'all could be a life path number nine. Some of you, your birthday could be September 9th, okay? You very beautiful, Virgo, and you very clean too, like very pretty, very clean. Uh, it's like perfection here. This is, this is such Virgo energy here. You know, nobody's perfect, but bitch, you look damn near perfect. Whoever you are, you really take the time out. Like, you take a lot of time to get ready or to to just, like, and it's like you don't even have to do too much, but you just like to look real, like, put together. Like, you just real clean cut. You're, you're a goddess. You're a fucking empress. You're amazing. You may be getting complimented a lot right now at this time, like, complimented on your body, your skin, your clothes, everything, your hair, the way you carry yourself. It's just... You love the hell out of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That shit is seen. It's felt. Like, just the way you show up. It's like people know that you really, really love yourself. Like, you just love yourself. Like, you do really nice things for yourself. You may treat yourself to nice things. It's like, yo, it's given luxury. It's given luxurious. It's given I'm a goddess. I deserve the absolute best. And this is somebody that know that they can't provide for you in any way. So, like I said, they're intimidated and they talking shit. This person is a loser. This is somebody that can't even date you. Like, they want to date you, but they can't. They can't afford you. It, like, it's really giving that. I'm sorry. And it's not that you... 
I don't feel like y'all gold diggers, even though I know this person calling you a gold digger. This is just somebody that knows that it takes money to really be in a relationship. Like, let's, let's be serious here. Like, all jokes aside, it takes money. It takes money to make money. It takes money to be in a relationship. You need money to do everything in this life. And anybody that's saying that, oh, money ain't, is not important, those are the motherfuckers that don't have nothing or can't really obtain none or maintain any. They, they got bad spending habits and shit. Because everybody knows, just like you know, Virgo, you need money in this life. You do. Is it, is it everything? No, you know, but you need it in this life. You do. You need it. You need, you need money for damn near everything, you know, to move around, to sustain yourself, to provide for yourself, to eat. You, you need that shit. <laughs> like, this is somebody that wants you to be comfortable with being a bum. And, and that was never in you. You're never a bum. Um, I'm about to call you Libra. You definitely got Libra in your chart. You're never a bum, Ver. You're never a bum, Empress. Even if you have fell on hard times at some point, you run it back up. You get that shit back. You don't stay down for too long. You don't. Some of y'all could be going through some sort of um, struggles right now, but you don't look like what you're going through. Nobody would ever know because you take good fucking care of yourself and you still making shit happen for yourself. So nobody would ever know unless you told them, you know what I'm saying? You the shit. And this person just intimidated because they can't afford to be with somebody like you. Like you like to go out. You like to do nice things. You like to travel. You like to shop. You like to eat good. You like to get your nails done. You like to keep yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Like your waxes, your hair, your nails, your feet, all of that shit alone. This person, they can't help in no way. And it's not that you can't pay for the shit yourself because clearly you doing it by yourself. For some of y'all, you single right now and you take care of all of this shit by yourself. But this person knows that if you was to get in a relationship with somebody, that person would be helping out. They would be treating you. I mean, it's just a given. <laughs> and this person knows that they cannot give, they cannot help in any way they can't even take care of themselves so how the fuck they gonna maintain a relationship with you they just mad because they can't they can't do nothing for you they can't do shit for you but waste your fucking time this is somebody that wants to cast an illusion that they can do something for you and then would make it so bad virgo not only could this person not do anything for you this is somebody here that's non-committal so imagine somebody being a bum and being a cheater like, pick your motherfucking struggles. Like, like, what is this? This is somebody that's a bum and a cheater. This is the type of motherfucker that's on the welfare line looking at bitches winking. Like, get out of here. Child, please. A king of pentacles in the reverse. I can't make it up. This motherfucker want to be taken care of. This person is a loser. Some of y'all, you got a losing ass couple that's hating on y'all too. This could be two motherfuckers here that's both on welfare. And you know, I'm not trying to throw shade to anybody that need government assistance. Shit, I wish I had some fucking food stamps right now, to be quite honest. But whoever this Queen of Wands in the reverse is, this Queen of Pentacles reverse, they hating on y'all. For some of y'all, it's a whole couple out here that are bums that are hating on y'all. Both of these motherfuckers may sit at home all day. Sit at home all day, obsessed with you, obsessed with what you doing. Like, what type of shit is this? These motherfuckers could be spiritually attacking y'all. So for some of y'all, you got one situation with this man that I've been talking about this whole time. Then for others of you, you got a whole bum-ass couple out here that's getting hella karma for attacking you. They're jealous of your, your hustle. Like, somebody here is jealous of, of your money, how you dress, your hustle. And this is two losers that's together. This is a man that want to be with a woman like you. But they can't be with somebody like you because you would never take care of a man. You're not taking care of no grown-ass man. You'd rather be by yourself. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. You are by yourself. You are single. Because you're not taking care of no bum-ass motherfucker. You're not taking care of no grown-ass man. This is somebody that want a woman to take care of them. And they with a hoe right now that don't got shit to... This, this woman could be a trick. She could be giving this, this motherfucker her last dollar. And she don't have much of it. This bitch got $10, she giving him $9.50, leaving 50 cents for herself. She's a fucking clown too. So this man could be with a woman that is uh, that he's draining right now, but she don't have much to give in the first place. This is pathetic. This is very sad. King of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. She want to be with a man for money too. This is the type of bitch that's a prostitute. She want to sleep with a man. She want to she wanna throw that coochie around and get drafted this is a bitch that's looking for to get drafted this is the type of bitch that has spent her last dollar on a, a basketball game to get caught to get court seats court side seats 
hope, hoping to get drafted, hoping to get chosen. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. So the same thing he accusing you of, that's the type of bitch that he's connecting to. That's the type of women that he connect to. He calling you a gold digger, but those are the, but he's, he, he, um, he attracts prostitutes. <laughs> so it's just like, motherfucker, you just mad because you can't get with a boss bitch. You can't be with a real woman. You, a real woman would never be attracted to you. They wouldn't give you the time of the day and you're mad. You're mad. This is a man that wants to be taking care of a woman. And all they, all they do is attract women that want to be taking care of men. So they both unfulfilled. They both unhappy. Both of them. He unhappy, he unfulfilled, and so is she. Neither one of them got what they want. The only person that's getting what they want here is you. And you you making that shit happen for yourself. You're not looking for somebody to take care of you. But if somebody's going to share your energy, if they're going to be in your energy, then motherfucker, you're going to provide. You're going to be an asset. You're going to be a team player. You're going to do something. You're going to bring something to the table. And if you ain't bringing shit to the table, then motherfucker, I'm not dealing with you. And Virgo, you, you can't, I mean, hello, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. You doing this shit the right way. The fuck? Only people that's offended by this message is, are fucking bums and people that are looking for motherfuckers to take care of them. Those are the only type of people that's going to be offended by this energy. The fuck out of here. Virgo, you love yourself. And somebody's sending you the evil eye because you love yourself. Somebody here sending you the evil eye because you happy. This person want to come towards you so bad. You also got like a, a fake ass friend here. Somebody that's very jealous of you. Somebody here could be a Capricorn or an air sign. This person is very jealous of you. They're going to try to be your friend. This is somebody that want to celebrate with you. They, they know that you're destined for success and they want to be a part of it. This is somebody that's a groupie, a clout chaser, a boot fucking licker, an ass muncher, period. This person want to lick your ass. Whoever this is, they're a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Capricorn, or somebody with that in HR. A low vibrational, fake ass friend could be trying to reach out to y'all, come towards y'all as well, because this person know you destined for success. They watching you at this time. I told you, you got a lot of people in your energy that feel like you shitting on them. And the only thing you doing is growing, healing, and evolving. You not even trying to show nobody up. You not trying to shit on nobody. You try, you not trying to stunt on nobody. Some of y'all, you saying you are stunting on them. <laughs> so Virgo, that's, that's, that's you, baby. That's your business. But for others of you, you're not even trying to stunt on nobody. You're just growing, healing, and evolving. And motherfuckers is obsessed with watching you. And, and they trigger it. They fucking trigger about what you, what you got going on. They trigger about what you got going on. Somebody here feel like you're very confident. They wish they had this level of confidence. Somebody here is like, yo, show me your ways. For whoever you are, Virgo, this fake friend... That could be trying to come back around and get into your energy. This is somebody that wants to um, imitate you. Like, this is this could have been the reason why you fell off with this person in the first place. Because you could have felt like this bitch was always copying you. It's like confirmation. Like, somebody here was always copying you. It's like you get your hair done one way. Next minute you know this bitch getting the same hairstyle or something very similar. You color your hair. This bitch, wanna get, she want to get the same color. She want to color her hair too. You get some type of shoes, this bitch want to get the same type of shoes. You got, a, you got a certain bag, you just bought yourself a certain bag, this bitch want to get a certain bag. It's like, and it's not healthy competition. It's like literally somebody's trying to be you. And you could have cut this bitch off because you thought that shit was weird. Yeah, it is weird. The fuck? This person going to try to come back around. This is somebody that want to be up close and personal to you because they want, they want to benefit off of... Um, your perks like this person wants access to the perks of being your friend they want bragging rights but they really jealous of you it's like imagine that somebody bragging to other people about being connected to you but whole time they really jealous of you this is like the type of bitch like oh that's my best friend that's my best friend that's my friend yeah that's my friend yeah that's my friend yep we're friends but whole time this bitch is envious of you trying to be you fucking weird this is somebody that's going to come back around trying to be your friend again. Get the fuck out of here. Somebody here could be a Scorpio. Very jealous. Somebody here's a Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Capricorn. Very fucking jealous person. Whoever this is, they're very jealous. Or they could have that in a chart somewhere. <clears throat> but you just boss the fuck up. Period. And you know what else is happening, Virgo? Some of y'all going to have new love in your life. Some of y'all going to have new love in your life. Somebody that can actually um, afford you, <laughs> afford to be with you, <laughs> okay? Some of y'all going to have this person baby, too. And, and wait until this happens. Everybody going to be talking about this shit. Like, oh, Virgo only got pregnant by so-and-so because they got money. 
Watch, watch. I guarantee, bro. I moth my fucking words. Whoever this message, whoever this message is for today, whoever resonate with this energy, you got Libra or Leo placements for sure. Somebody here gonna be like, oh, Virgo only got pregnant because that person got money. Virgo only accepted that love offer because that person got money. Watch. If you pop up pregnant, if you pop up pregnant, Virgo, somebody here gonna be like, oh, you only got pregnant because that person got money. And it's like, well, maybe shit. But maybe you actually just fell in love with somebody that is wealthy, that's financially stable. Virgo, whoever you are, you financially stable your damn self. So it's not your fault that you don't want to be with a bum. The fuck? Who the fuck wants to be with a bum? Bums don't even want to be with other bums, which is why these two miserable people in this couple are so obsessed with you because they both bums and neither one of them happy with the other. They both looking for a way out. They both looking for a come up. But the difference between you and them is that they looking for somebody to take care of their broke, lazy asses. You out here actually taking care of yourself and you just going to luck up and get with somebody that's a boss as well. Let's really talk about it. Like, I'm reading motherfuckers they rights. The fuck? The fuck out of here. Somebody here really think, like, they really going to talk mad shit. Like, somebody here feel like you manifesting somebody that's, we that's wealthy, that's rich. And maybe you are. <laughs> maybe you are, bird. Who the fuck cares, right? That's your business. You gonna have love and money, you know? And that's what somebody really gonna be envious of. But I'm telling you, if you pop out on some brand new shit and, and if you pregnant, somebody here gonna be like, oh, they only got pregnant because that person got money. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with y'all. Somebody here's a Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn or another Virgo. That's a bum here. Somebody here's depressed and obsessed with y'all. Somebody here could also be going to jail. So they got more problems to worry about. They need to stop worrying about you and your finances and what type of shit you manifest. And what they need to be worried about is going to jail. Because there's a Capricorn or another Virgo that's going to jail. Somebody here's going to jail. They got more problems that they need to be focused on. They got a lot of shit they need to be focused on. Virgo, here you are showing up again as the Queen of Pentacles. You keep showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. You out here making boss moves, doing your thing. Yes, I can't make it up. You out here getting bread. Yo, Virgo, you getting that paper. I fucking knew it, dog. Yo, Virgo, you out here getting them, them fucking, yo, you touching it, Virg. Let me hold something. Let me hold something, Virg. <laughs> for real, let me hold something. I got you next Thursday, sis. Nah, but for real, Virgo, you, you really getting it? You getting it. You get confirmation, yo, you getting it. Yo, you, you a millionaire. Yo, dead ass Virgo, you about to marry into wealth. And somebody is going to be saying that that's the only reason why you got pregnant. That's the only reason why you got married. That's the only reason why you dating somebody is because they're wealthy. But that's not true. You actually going to fall in love with somebody. They just happen to be very financially well off. She. Virgo. What it is, though. Hey, yo, he got a brother. Now, let me stop. <laughs> Yo, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, yo, Virg, you running it the fuck up, man. And somebody here so jealous of you. Queen of Cups reverse. A hating ass bitch. You understand me? Somebody here could be another Virgo like you, a Capricorn or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody here so jealous of you. There's a karmic distorted feminine that's so jealous of you. You receiving justice in a situation. Your justice is for you to have this Ten of Pentacles, for you to have this wealth, for you to have this stability. For you to have this healthy uh, relationship as well, this wealthy man, this wealthy woman, take it as it resonates. This is your justice. Somebody here could definitely have Libra in HR. The justice keep coming out. Yo, shout outs to you, Verb. Some of y'all could be winning a lawsuit as well, winning a legal case. You could be winning a lot of money or you getting a lot of money. Some, something here coming to you. Yeah, your emperor got big fucking bank. Oh, yeah, your emperor got big bank. <laughs> the emperor the ten of pentacles the queen of pentacles the justice the death card some of y'all could be connected to a aries a taurus a scorpio a libra or you could have that in your chart oh baby hey yo virgo you did manifest this shit and you the the crazy shit about it is that you know it's coming this is something that may have not happened already oh i got chills all over my body yo oh my god i got goosebumps right now come for fucking mation spirit is here baby this is the message 44 14 on the clock some of y'all could be seeing 414 some of y'all could be seeing 444 you could be born september 4th today could be your birthday yo happy birthday verb shout out to all the september 4th borns shout out to beyonce happy birthday b yeah man 
Your birthday could be today, Verb. Some of your, some of you, your birthday is September fourth, September fourteenth, or somebody that you're dealing with, their birthday could be September fourth, September fourteenth. Some of y'all dealing with another Verb. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Libra, or like I said, you could have that in your chart. Somebody here could have like a Gemini uh, placement too, a significant Gemini placement. You or them. Yeah, you receiving in a big way, bro. I cannot make it up. High Priestess, your intuition been telling you this shit too. You may feel like you just destined for, for greatness. You destined for wealth. You destined to be very wealthy, very prosperous in this lifetime. You truly favor and anointed and so is your emperor. Whoever you going to marry, whoever you going to have a baby by, whoever you going to be with, whoever you going to partner with, this person is destined for wealth just like you. It's like a divine inheritance here that's connected to both of you. Y'all about to be out here getting it. This shit is beautiful, dog. Yo, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Justice, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ten of Pentacles. Hey, yo, Verb, can I come to the wedding, sis? You going, you going to extend that invitation? You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all going to have the finest fucking champagne. I know y'all going to have the best fucking food, the best cake. I know everything going to be top tier. This is luxury. This is top tier. If it's not the best, I ain't fucking with it. If it's not the best, I don't want it. Yo, you a luxurious bitch. You golden. Bitch, you golden. You know what I'm saying? Like, adjust your crown. Like, it, it's giving crown. It's giving goddess. It's giving you walking around with a tiara on the top of your motherfucking head. And this is why people so triggered by you because you not okay with the, the mediocre shit. You not a basic bitch and it triggers a lot of people. Oh, well. Oh, well. You not fucking dimming your light for nobody. The fuck? You not about to dim your light to, uh, to please nobody. Either they understand or they don't. The fuck? Motherfuckers is just mad because they bums. Like, that's just really what it is today. That's the message. <laughs> like, that's really what it is, bird. Let's get you some angel numbers, sugar. Can I get some angel numbers for my Virgos? Angel numbers for Virg. Yup, told you. You a rich bitch. What this say? A, 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 abundance. I ain't gonna make it up. Yo, Virgo, you a fucking millionaire. You know, you understand me? Whoever I'm talking to, you are destined to be a millionaire in this lifetime. I feel that shit. I feel it in my soul, bro. Virgo, whoever you are, you feel that shit too. You don't know where this money coming from, but you know you destined for this shit. You know you, you know you destined for greatness. You know what I'm saying, Virgo. You know you destined for greatness. You can't settle. 12, 12, choices. Make positive choices, Virgo. I told you something significant about the number nine. You are the truth. Some of y'all born September 9th, September 19th. You could be a life path nine. Some of y'all born September 12th, September 8th, September 18th, September 2nd. Yo, this your message. You the shit, man. Something significant about July 17th. You had a cancer that was hating on you. That birthday, that person's birthday could be July 17th. Somebody here's birthday could be July 8th, July 12th, July 9th, July 19th, July 18th. Okay? You could also have Cancer in your chart. You could have Libra in your chart. You could have Sag in your chart. You could have Leo in your chart. You the shit, yo. Yo, you about to be rich as fuck. Like, whoever this message is for, I'm telling you. It's something here about you being destined for wealth. You may be seeing 888 a lot. If you've been seeing a lot of eights, this is your fucking message, bro. If you've been seeing a lot of eights, this is your message, bro. I'm talking about 888. Four eights, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, however many eights. You've been seeing a lot of eights, bro. And you've been seeing that shit for a long time, too. This is not something that's just now recently happening. You've been seeing 888 for damn near years now. Almost your whole life, you've been seeing 888. That's how come you just, your intuition has just been telling you that you're destined for wealth. It's like you destined for abundance in all areas of your life. This is not just an abundance of wealth and prosperity. This is an abundance of all things that are good. Healthy partnerships and relationships, blessings, good health, all things that are good. There's an abundance here, man. Yo, what? You somebody that's very brave as well. You somebody that's making healthy choices. You somebody that could be a truth speaker as well. You could be a whistleblower. That's another reason why motherfuckers don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could even be a messenger. You could be a reader, period. 
You could be a messenger, a whistleblower. You could be a reader. You a truth speaker. You a truth seeker. You somebody that is, is very knowledgeable, very wise, and old soul. That Virgo energy, that hermit energy. You a hermit. You a hermitess. You very powerful and you stand alone. You know, the most powerful people be alone. They stand alone. They don't need a fucking entourage. They don't need an army. You know, you got motherfuckers that have grouped up and collaborated to go against you. It take a lot of people to try to go against you and they still fucking fail. Imagine that. That's how powerful you are. Motherfuckers know that they have to recruit other people to go against you. That's how powerful you are. And you standing alone and you still kicking their ass. Like, let's really talk about it. And yo, Virg, what it is, baby? What it is, honey bun? 888 man abundance it says the energy of abundance and success is flowing in beautiful loops around you wrapping you in a loving embrace your angels are practically jumping up and down enthusiastically encouraging you your hard work is paying off achievement and recognition are on the horizon even when things feel overwhelming or disappointing trust that the feeling will pass continue to be an optimistic source of love and light like attract like after all invest your energy and money where you want to see growth this is an encouragement to remain hopeful and positive. Your hard work is being recognized and rewarded. Okay. I bathe in a river of abundance. That's your affirmation. I bathe in a river of abundance. Yes, you do, Virgo. You bathe in a river of abundance. We got 12, 12 choices. You have been consumed with inner conflict and need to address it. Okay. Self-doubt. Get rid of any self-doubt and insecurities. I feel like this is something that you've done already. Maybe some of y'all was insecure at one point. And this is another reason why people are triggered because you've changed so much. You've grown so much. You've healed so much. It says you turning your attention towards making real positive changes and choices for your mental health. You are actively putting your own needs first. Yeah. And so motherfuckers calling you selfish. They say all types of shit about you because you putting your mental health first. You putting your own needs first. And ain't nothing fucking wrong with that. Okay. Virgo, make sure that you sustain yourself. Right. Come on now. You got to sustain yourself. Uh, I was about to call you Libra. You got to sustain.